Purple Collar Girl. Today is Friday, June the 19th. And as you can see, she's quite the big little girl. And she's looking around saying, what's happening? I am just too cute. And I'm even sort of wagging my tail. I kind of like when Grandma moves. I kind of like when Grandma gives me tummy rubs. And that's Purple Girl. Next, I'm going to get the next puppy. And uh, this is, okay, not that one. I'm looking for black. Come on, little black guy. Here you go, black. This is Black Collar Boy. He's a boy. And as you can see, he's all boy. And all the puppies are weighing close to four pounds or a little over four pounds. They had their nails done once. It's going to be soon time to do their nails again. And this gives you a good sense of he's probably going to be a very dark sable puppy. Whereas Purple Girl's going to be medium dark sable girl. And you can see the sable starting to come out in there. Oh, you want to play with. Next, we're going to take Blue. Blue puppy is right here. And they're just having such fun wagging their little tails. Okay, here's little blue boy. And he, as you can see, he's a tall boy. And he's one of the bigger puppies. And he says, and he is going to be probably black and tan. I can't see him going sable. He is definitely going to be a black and tan boy. And so those of you who wanted a black and tan, he's your black and tan boy. And yes, they're all calling to me. Next is going to be orange. Orange is a girl. She's not a girl. Orange is going to be a very, as you can see from her coloration, she's got that stripe down the back. She's going to be a very, very dark sable girl. And some people might say she's going to look black and tan, but I think she's going to be a super dark sable. Just from what I can see of the lighter color that's working out in her undercoat. But she certainly is an adventurous little girl. That's orange girl. Next, we're going to go for pink. Pink is another girl. As you can see, the puppies are starting. They've got teeth, sharp teeth. They, mummy is standing to let them nurse. This is pink girl. Pink girl is going to be a darky or medium darky sable. That's my guess. Isn't she a gorgeous little girl with all these little silver highlights that you can see that she's starting to develop. But she's definitely a sable girl. And she, said, and she is the little Dora the Explorer who likes to be adventuring around. Next we're going to get yellow. Come on yellow. Here we go. Come on little yellow. And here is yellow. He's going to be a medium sable. You can already see the sable developing. Uh, sorry, she is going to be a medium sable. You can see the sable developing. She's going to have a like, kind of a black and tanny head. She's going to be a gorgeous little girl. This is yellow. Okay. Now we're going to get... I hear you. It's going to be aqua. This is Aqua. Aqua is going to be, as a boy, as you can see, boy. He's going to be bicolor black and tan. He may even be, as you can see, solid black anus, which means that he's, he may even be mostly black, with a little bit of tan on his paws. Okay. Next, we're going with Lime Green Girl. Come on, Lime Green Girl. Lime Green Girl is definitely a medium sable. 
your typical run-of-the-mill, probably look, will be like your mom, maybe a little darker, and this is lime green girl, that had to get a new collar because she pulled off her collar and everybody ate it, chewed it to ribbons, and so I didn't have a, an, a lime green Velcro collar, and so now she's wearing another little collar. It's kind of a pale green, and it works. So this girl is lime green, even though her collar isn't entirely lime. And finally, we have red. Red boy. This is red boy. And he is, he's going to be medium sable, dark sable. And he's quite the little adventurer too. As you can see, they all have the blocky heads. They're all doing so well. And they all already know that they want to come to Grandma and get petted. Yes, they like to come to Grandma and get petted. They've learned that Grandma likes to play with them and handle them. But you can see they're all, they're learning to um, eat the solid kibble uh, rather than giving them the milk with the kibble. I like to give them the op they've got sharp teeth, they just kind of chew on the kibble. If mummy eats it well, I just replace it because mummy's eating the puppy food also to provide superior nutrition for the puppies. I know Pinky. I know little Barky Pinky. And they're all running around exploring. And mummy is still nursing them, so they're getting mummy's milk as well as Occasional little bits of kibble. Little 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 pink is quite the vocal girl, who likes to. Come on, who wants to come to grandma? What's that? What's that? Look at squeaky chicken. Everybody wants to come to Grandma because Grandma has good friends. And they all like to play with Grandma. This is why I have to have somebody else do the video because it, it always happens. By the time they're four weeks of age, they like me and they will just all hover around my feet. And I can't very well take a video when they're all hovering at my feet. This way, at least, you get to see them in action. Come on, little Limey. And as you can see, they're they're turning into puppies, real puppies. They're running, playing, finding things, discovering, searching. Life is a big adventure for them at this stage in their little lives. Oh, look who is taking the foxy and said, this is black, says, it's mine, and I'm going to, I'm going to kill it. This is mine. I'm going to see what I can do with this, this, this rat. Oh, well, maybe I'll find something else. doing all that barking, asserting his authority, kind of like Cartman of the uh, that show, I can't remember, with all the little cartoon kids. And everybody likes to be petted and look at the tummy rubs and we like to we get our little tails going. We all like to get tummy rubs. We do, we do, we do, we do. And Grandma's going to move some of the toys and make them more interesting. What's this? A chewy thing? Oh, 
look at little little Aqua who is interested in the ball. Just pushing it with his nose. This is where they're starting. What's this? What's that? Oops. Grandma threw it too far. Oops, you made it. You made it roll. Now. They're all quite happy. Oh, somebody had to bark at something. Oh dear. What did you want, little purple? Did you want to be picked up? Does somebody want to be picked up and sit in my wagon and get tummy rubs? We like tummy rubs. Yes, we do. We definitely do like tummy rubs. Okay. Who's next for tummy rubs? There, you had your share of tummy rubs. Who else? Red wants a tummy rub? Okay. Red boy wants a tummy rub. Oh, what do you like for tummy rubs? Oh, are you barking? Little red boy is barking. There. Oh, and now yellow is walking around and and, and hopping, hopping here and hopping there. Battling the slippery forest quite well now. I think I'm going to close their kennel so that that's little aqua barking now, expressing himself. Oh, you want to be picked up by Grandma? The little barker that you are? Do you like to be picked up? No, you don't want to be picked up? Okay, you want to, that was just part of the exploring deal? Within about three or four days, you'll start seeing them, maybe five you'll start seeing them more actively playing with the toys. I, so I honestly believe that the uh, giving them the opportunity to play with a wide variety of toys does help them with their intellectual stimulus. And this time it's Blue who's all pooped out tired. And you get a chance to see, I think the last time, a lime and red were the ones who were all tired, worn out. And this time, lime and red, oh, and pink is still being the little agitator and explorer. What's this? Of course, are you doing? But they've got this typical old style European um, German Shepherd look with the blocky head. And these guys don't look like little rats. Yes, we look like German Shepherd puppies. Should look. Oh, look at little Aqua is certainly the little toy explorer. He's one of the early kids to like the toys. He's trying to drag that ring across. And Red is interested in pulling the ears off the squeaky foxy. And Orange is going to take a walk in the kibble dish. And little Yellow is expressing himself. And little blue is the pooped out one this time. Is that I need to get save my strength. Let's see if we can wake up blue. Come on. What's with you? How come you're being a little party pooper? The party's happening. That's just fine. That is just fine. I am tired. Old pink is going after the ball now too. Just starting to realize that the ball is a fun toy. And pushing it with her nose. 
and then attacking it. There we go. Let's see what you do, little blue. Oh, he says, maybe I'll stay awake for a while. Now Pink has got the uh, hot dog. Oh, and <laughs> she shook it so hard she fell over. <laughs> there she goes, shaking it again. She's quite the little adventurer. And yellow is still expressing himself, little barks. And now aqua is tired, purple's tired, uh, lime is tired. And I think we've kind of worn him out. Little 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 Miss Go Getter, oh, little pink collar is is kind of the one who likes to play the longest so far. And yellow is the explorer. She says, I'm a, I'm a Dora the Explorer also. Well, I think they're starting to get tired. We'll turn off the, the video. Let's get it.